I'm Melissa. I am the learning and develop development business partner. Um, I had Confluence and I switched to Notion. For more reviews, click below. Both of these tools are helping our business to either build databases of knowledge um, or to thoroughly document an onboarding process or an onboarding um, checklist for our team members to complete. It's also a place where we can have uh, all of our knowledge living into one area and allows us to manage this knowledge through different pro projects and task management. Um, and it also allows us for the ability to take notes and develop our own personal uh, team spaces within the business. Notion is a great tool because it's a fun way to build out a knowledge management center or a basis for your knowledge within your company. Um, Notion is a very functional and flexible uh, tool to use and it allows, it allows you to have multiple administration of databases and it allows you to connect um, this, this type of uh, knowledge management center um, with all of the other tools that you might use within your business. And that allows you to connect information more easily and freely in between teams, which therefore removes your communication silos. Confluence is a great tool to utilize if within your engineering team you're used to using Atlassian products. It's fairly simple to build out knowledge pages and to document information for your teams. And it's fairly easy to create pages and to build uh, page trees within trees and connect all of your information into one tool. Getting started with Confluence and Notion is fairly simple, especially if you're curiosity driven. Um, both of this, the UX and the UI of both of these tools is fairly simple to use. So navigating around and figuring out how you can build out a knowledge base or to build out information um, is fairly simple and easy. And even if you're not very tech savvy, you'll be able to make something look very cool in either product. So I think the three main factors in choosing a software like this is obviously the most important, which is going to be the usability of either product within your organization. So being able to deploy it quick and efficiently and have users that are able to navigate and learn how to use the platform quickly is going to be one of the most uh, important success factors when you're looking at deploying or changing from a different software. Um, a second factor to can consider would be the amount of integrations that you might need to connect to this tool with. So if your team uses Slack or um, if your team is basically using Microsoft Teams or it's using Confluence, uh, Atlassian, um, you'll want to take into consideration all of the different options that you can integrate so that all of the tools will speak to each other and feed that source of information. The third one would probably be the cost of the solution and relative to your budget, um, which would be based on what you can allocate each, uh, each year to an information management system.